All right, ladies, we gave you instructions early tonight. I expect a clean and fair fight. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Questions out of the blue corner? Questions out of the red corner? Touch gloves, ladies, let's fight. And this is going to be a tough one for Meacham, but she looks very calm and confident. Fight! Macias in the black. Meacham with the white shirt. We are underway. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA straw weight division. Wondering how long it's going to take Macias to lock her up and try and hit a throw. Probably not long. Black belt in judo. Trained with Rousey at the Olympic Training Center. And it was Ronda who got Macias into oh. MMA when she retired in 2014. Hard landing. Knee on belly. Hook Meacham down with some force. Lost her, wow. Yeah, Meacham gets back on her feet. Meacham pro debut, but she went three and one as an amateur, winning her last three bouts. Looking for that right leg head kick. Eventually, she's going to try and land it if she can stay on her feet for a while. There, going high again. Macias saw it coming. Oh, oh kicking counter for Macias. There's a throw. Here it comes. Look at her walking her legs up. She's high guard. She's, well. How much trouble is Macias in? None, none at all. None at all right now. I don't know why she doesn't lock up a triangle. And there, Macias gets her. the arm out. Nice job scooping the leg, though, underneath by Meacham to get herself back to guard. She's not clueless down there, buddy. No. Made a mistake in that submission attempt, but certainly not. Well, letting her get through the guard a little, a little easy here. You know, she's reaching up and tying her up, grabbing a hold of her own leg. I think Macias was happy to get this fight back up. High kick from Meacham. Meacham, yeah, coming back with that right hand right afterward also. Kick to the body, lands from Meacham. As we hit the midway point of round number one. And Maddie Meacham hanging in there. Yes, she is. Meacham back to back. Third round TKO wins. She actually won an amateur title with Steel Fist Fight Night. Lost her first fight and has reeled off three straight since. Trying to get her hips in. Look at her blocking her hips. She had her arm out, pushing on her hips, keeping Macias from getting those hips in the thrower. Somebody's taught her a few tricks. Training out of one hit MMA, Ogden, Utah. Also with a similar altitude in Ogden than of here in Denver, so, oh, nice. And Amit Macias comes in. Catching the kick again. Plants her on the canvas. I want posture. And some hammer fists from Pauline Macias. Rachel able to get free again. Oh, and another good kick from Meacham. Takedown coming. Throw. Whoop. Another judo throw. A lot of energy being expended, though. A lot of takedowns with really not a whole lot of damage. She's landed a couple of hammer fists, but out of all those takedowns, she's really not done a whole lot of damage and capitalized off of it yet. Macias' one victory coming by way of armbar. I guess being a friend of Ronda Rousey, that is no shocker. That happened June 16th. Macias has won four straight if you go back to her amateur career.
Glad you could be a part of LFA 57 from Broomfield, Colorado. Ron Kruk, Pat Militich in Phoenix. Carnivale with you tonight. Meacham needs to come forward. Just keep coming forward and landing. Oh! And she is! Tagging her. Blocking the hips. She's trying to block the hips inside. I couldn't see. Is that an inside trip there? Round number one in the books, and not many gave Maddie Meacham a chance in this fight in her pro debut, taking on the judo black belt, Pauline Macias, but Maddie Meacham holding her own so far, Pat. I thought it was a great, uh, great performance. And Macias catching the kick, hitting the trip. Nice hard landing. Punishing Meacham on that one as they hit the ground. You can see the body kick landing and then the counter left. Macias needs to throw more of those without a doubt. Here's Meacham kicking on the inside of the leg and then landing that looping right hand. She's paying attention. Saw Cody Donovan in the corner of Macias representing, of course, Elevation Fight Team. The man known as Donnie Brook. And Pat, you gave that first round to Maddie Meacham despite Macias with the takedowns. I'm guessing Meacham had the more, uh, did she, more damage. She landed more strikes, absolutely. Let's Without a doubt, she was walking forward the whole time. Takedowns, really, you can't compute that into damage um, unless you actually do something with it on the ground. Let's now check in with Phoenix Carnavale. Yeah, it was pretty much the sentiment that Pat was talking about. Her coaches, same thing they told us in the pre-fight meetings, they want her to stay long. They want Misha to stay long, use her striking, because every time she gets in, she gets thrown. He doesn't want any more of that. And they said, hey, avoid the high kicks for now. Set up those low kicks, use your striking, stay long, and then throw the high kick after you've gotten her set up with those low kicks. Good advice. Thank you, Phoenix. That Militich giving that first round to Maddie Meacham. How do you have it scored? Hit us up on Twitter, hashtag LFA57. And Meacham keeping the pressure on. Oh, nice punch there. Big punches by Macias. Macias now throwing some leather. Maybe right, settling in. You gotta in. fight, you gotta fight, you gotta fight. Oh, I'm not sure why she's suffering. Oh, uh, she busted her retainer loose. Uh, wow. You can't do that. And referee Tim Mills has stopped this fight. It sounded like Pat, what you said is she broke her retainer. Yeah. Well, uh, I've never seen that before in, in the sport. She was thinking of the money she was going to have to spend on dental work, which yeah. is which is something you're usually going to have to do in this sport either way. Mm, you make a good point. You make a good point. And in our 15th year of broadcasting on the network, that, my friend, is a new. He's first. feeling for a broken jaw. Is what he's feeling for. Yeah. Lower man, lower yeah. uh, mandible. You can see. You can see the teeth are split apart, which yeah. means there could be a broken jaw. And this is where Macias lands that hard shot, comes back with a couple more. You can see her feeling. She's going, wait a minute, what the heck's going on? This doesn't feel right. And Macias is that's like, a broken that's jaw. Not I bet you. Timeout. I'm willing to bet you that's a broken jaw. Well, either way, it was a good fight. Yeah. And give Maddie Meacham credit. There are no timeouts, though, in MMA. Meacham's a very slender girl. If they have to wire her jaw shut, she's really going to get slender. Oh, my gosh, yes. Known as PETA. Her dad called her PETA, as in pain in the ass. Pauline <laughs> Macias. If dad says it, I guess I can repeat it. And how cool is that, little sister? Proud of big sis Pauline Macias, who has now improved to 2-0. and And you see dad there. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tim Mills calls a stop to the fight. One minute, 18 seconds into the second round, declaring your winner by verbal submission, Pauline Pita Macias. 
Remember her name, Pauline Macias. Ronda Rousey's protege is now 2-0, earning her first win inside the LFA Octagon.